How'd you like the way you guys started? Um, it was good. It was an emphasis we needed to talk about that I talked about last week. Um, and we handled the first play of the game, uh, had a successful play, efficient play. Um, went on to the second play, uh, executed it. Um, we're efficient there and then kind of continue down the field. So they, they did a good job. Players did a good job of executing one play at a time, um, I think, throughout the entire game. Um, not everything was perfect, of course, but for the, the entire game, they executed one play at a time, were able to move on to the next play, no matter what happened on the, on the play previous. Um, and again, they did a really good job executing and handling the details. And I know, obviously, the run game isn't perfect from week to week, but this was the fourth game this year where you guys had uh, at least a 100-yard rusher. Um, how are you liking the way that um, you know, we did a good job in the run game. Um, you know, I think we did a really good job specifically in the second half of controlling the ball um, as well. I think we had the ball for 23 minutes or so in the second half of the game. Um, so we did a good job of controlling it. And, and any offense court, any football coach in the country will tell you, offensive job is to run the ball, defense job is to, is to stop the run. So when we are running the ball well, um, you know, it opens other things up and allows us to be efficient. You know, this past weekend we weren't overly explosive, but we were very efficient in the category you need to be efficient on in the money downs and in the red zone area, overly efficient. Um, so, you know, that's something that you, you put on the offensive line and you put on the running back as, again, handling the details of every single play. How happy are you with the consistency throughout the game, especially to start quicker than you had in the Yeah, I mean, it was good. Again, all, all we talked about last week through the whole week was play one. And that's handle play one, and how do you handle play one? And we talked about it here, you know, your attention detail. What's my what's my alignment? What's my assignment? And what technique am I going to use to make this play successful? And then you go on to play two with the same exact questions, and that that's a you know we did a good job of that this past week, um, and you know that was a um, huge part of the success. We've seen Brandon Thomas play a little bit more in the past couple weeks, especially on the goal line. Is that kind of what we can expect moving forward? Is him to come in? Yeah, Brandon's been doing a great job of practice. He's been coming in with great attitude. Um, and we all know what Brandon can do in games. We, you know, uh, Tigers fans have seen it for for a long time. So um, obviously Blake's having, you know, doing a really, really good job for us. Sutton Smith gives us another dimension back there. But Brandon Thomas coming in the game and giving us a little bit of a different type of runner, you know. And and you guys, you know, everyone's going to see it as he's a short down back, whatever. We can put him in at any time. You know, he played regular downs for us and he played a lot of football here. So. Um, but his, the reason he's in that situation is because what he did through practice the last three, four weeks um, and did a really good job, coming with a great attitude, working hard, doing what he's supposed to do. And I got him in the game, and he took advantage of his, his opportunities when he got there. Halfway through the season, a little bit more, how much more important does it become just making sure that your players are taking the necessary steps to get the, their body right and treatment? And yeah, that's everything, man. It's, it's funny when you ask a, you know, ask a football player how you're feeling right now. And, they try and be tough, but you know it's week eight, week nine. Your your body's hurting, you know. So you know our our training staff does an unbelievable job. Uh, we have equipment in there that I don't even know what it does, but um, when when they use it, they feel a lot better. Um, so they do a good job, and, and you know Coach Sofield preaches that you know take care of your body. It, that room, I keep pointing over there. That, that that training room right there is not for only when you get hurt. There's a lot of prehab stuff you can do. Um, we overly talk to our guys about what you're putting in your body, what are you eating, what are you drinking, you know, how, how much sleep are you getting at night, all that type of stuff to take care of your body because it, it's a long, long football season, you know, um, and there's a long way to go yet. So um, they got to do a great job of handling and taking care of their bodies. Looking forward, what have you seen from the North Texas defense? What kind of challenge? <clears throat> Very unique defense, different than any defense we've seen. They're, they're um, I call it old school because it, it kind of, was a huge thing a handful of years ago um, and kind of fade away a little bit, but they're playing a three down front with, you know, a, a three safety look and they can get to a lot of different looks out of that. So um, they have a defensive end number 44 who is like overly dynamic player, probably one of the best we've gone against uh, this year. So we got to make sure we have a have an eye and, and, and a plan for him. Um, and then the shell that they give is it's just a little different than, than what you see on a week to week basis. So we got to really be dialed in. What, what kind of adjustments do you make? Uh, there, there's a couple, couple plans. Not Again, I don't, don't want to go public, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, you, you know where he is. You know where he is, and, and you make sure you're, you're, you're in the right spot with him. So uh, there, there's a lot of things that can go into it, uh, but we just got to be aware of where he's at. How'd you like um, tight ends? A couple of your tight ends got, got some. some yeah, it was good for them. Out. Good for them because they, they've been doing, you know, um, they've been doing a lot of work that people don't see. You know, they've been doing a lot of that uh, uh, hard hat 
lunch bucket type of work that, you know, people are like, well, tight ends must not be playing great because they're not getting any catches when actually they're doing everything we ask them to do. So it was good to get the ball in their hands and get them some touchdowns and, and get them excited because um, they, they've been doing a really good job on what we've been asking them to do. You know, and when you have Blake and you have Rock and you have Demir and you have, you know, uh, Sutton, it all of a sudden you start running out of plays with how many times you can get people the ball. So when we've thrown the tight ends the ball, they've done a good job of catching and they're working their tails off in the block game. So it was good to give them a little bit of, a little bit of love there. Yeah. What has that been like with talking to Seth this week, knowing that his family is a homecoming fan? Is it, is it different? Yeah, I, I'll say that, that 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 doesn't come up at all. It, it, it's a football game for him. You know, what I mean. Uh, I don't know how many people from Texas you know, but Texas people love going back to Texas. Um, so we got a handful of Texas guys on team, so they're excited about that. But in Seth's mind, it's, it's nothing except uh, you know preparing for North Texas. How did you evaluate his performance last week? It seemed like, like obviously the defense forced a lot of turnovers, and he, he just turned the ball over at all. So it seemed like how you made Yeah, he was. I, I think he played very efficient last last week. He uh, he made some again some things you don't see on film. He made some checks, put us in the right situations. In some situ in some stuff, we completed. I want to say 70% of our passes, maybe high 60s, whatever it was. Um, so he played a very solid game. Did what we asked him to do in that situation. Um, you know, we got to the fourth quarter there, which was a very impressive drive. 14-15 uh, play, nine and a half minute drive. Um, but we ran the ball every play but one. You know what I mean? Um, we do have to do a better job of, of uh, connecting on the deep balls, um, and yeah, that's something we're, we're uh, stressing this week. All right, appreciate you guys, man.